Okay, so I'm about to do my first unboxing video of my new box. Watch me not cut that right. So I said I was going to start doing more YouTubing and streaming this year. And that starts with this. Just giving some equipment. Some people say you don't need to. You can just, you know, just start recording with your phone. But from what I've seen, it's good to have some equipment. So I figured why not start with two essential pieces, which would be a actual mic. The glare coming out, which is supposed to be pretty good. I mean, don't need you know there is stuff to start out with, but I figured good to have a good mic and then this one a good friend of mine who's a makeup artist cosplayer she recommended a ring light which is good because my lighting is usually crap so let's start with the unboxing okay so the ring light is a little conscious the box is actually pretty you know it's a nice size box but it's not heavy at all God, all this hand sanitizer has my hands ashy. Talk about me. Okay. Let's see. It's probably good if you got the instructions at first. That's always been my problem. Okay, so we have the user manual. I'm seeing it's a pretty easy setup. Show you everything you need to actually put the tripod up. And it does have a remote, which we'll see. So that's pretty cool. I looked at it online. Oh, and it's a selfie stick, too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hmm, pretty easy setup, which we will get to. And it actually goes up pretty high, actually, which is pretty cool. And then the light has three different settings, white, natural, and warm, which is actually really cool. I saw some that didn't even have that. So that's pretty cool. And of course, the next thing you can get is a GoPro, so I don't have to do this on one hand. that your cell phone goes in. So that is a little easy to tear. And it's kind of like the one you would see like in your car, I guess. And then you do that for your car. This one's a little harder, actually. Oh, no. this Yeah, this is that part. And so it doesn't fit my phone with the case on it. So I am gonna have to take my phone out of the case. So that's gonna be, it's not hard. It's, I got a pretty easy case on my phone. So it shouldn't be hard. Plus I usually take it off once a week just to clean the inside of my case because it's a full case. I got it because it was a clear one. I wouldn't recommend dropping this one you know, repeatedly, but uh, it is good to take it out because like the part where my camera is, I have an iPhone 11. The part where my camera is, is kind of exposed. So I do actually get some like dust and stuff inside the case. So I like doing that because then it will start like getting on the inside of my screen. And I'll keep wiping the outside of the screen thinking that it is dirty and it's actually just the inside. And I got the key, cover case thing right here, which I probably won't use because I'll probably just have a set of all the time. But you can do it if you're going to be recording like outside and stuff. It's probably good to put it in. I just have all the time in my room. And here 
is the tripod. So, uh, clear space off. So, it's not bad. It's actually shorter when it's like this than I thought. Even though it does extend, I might just keep it like this and have it on my desk so that I can actually, you know, maneuver it. But it's not bad. Okay. Sorry if that was too fast for anybody. I don't want anybody to get nauseous during the video. And then we have. Oh, okay, go on back down to another part. Might need to cut this part. So, so I do need batteries for this part, probably. Yes, because it's really, really light. Oh, no, it has one in there. It's a watch battery. Still have to get one. This is not bad. Put that right there. And then we have the light itself. And this uh, looks like it's one part. Then we have the light itself. Okay, so it must be two different rigs. Yeah, so I didn't void it, obviously. So it is two different rigs. So I guess this one is for just for here, and then you have the other one that you can use. So that'd be this one. I guess this is an additional one in case your phone is a little wider. So looking at them, let's see. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go with the other one because this one feels just a little small for the iPhone 11. And this is the light. So, I guess I have to order any additional lights I need. So, hopefully, this lasts for a while. And that is the lighting. And that is the ring light unboxing. And now we're going to unbox the microphone. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It sounds silly. And just some of the stuff on the side, some of the specifications of it. Which. I literally put in one for podcasting and streaming, so it was only about 35 bucks, which isn't bad. They were, you know, more expensive mics, clearly. Even the ones I put like that. So I said, well, it's my first mic, so getting into doing voiceover and podcasting, which you should be subscribed to my podcast, all of them. Um, the other podcast you can find on this channel, same name. You can also find it on Apple, Spotify, uh, Google, Anchor. And then my other podcast, Wakanda Black Nerdcast, is this. And yes, I said Wakanda, but that's W A K I N D A. Not trying to get sued. And we have our podcast and our channel, which you should be subscribed to here on YouTube also. But back to the unboxing. So we have the microphone kit, user manual, and not too many pages, so seems simple enough, plug and play. And I guess you know what to do when you actually see it on your settings, so seems simple enough that even I can do it. I'm technical, but I'm not too technical on some things. That's the math instructions right here. I don't know if you're really trying to read these. And then answers, questions and answers on it, which is actually pretty cool. I said a good amount of questions and answers. Warranty, which is always good. Nice. And here is the microphone right here. Not huge, which is good. And then the USB port right here. USB type C, which is pretty much standard for everything. Uh, the screen, which is really cool. That's actually one of the things I liked about it. The you know, microphones I've seen this does really matter, especially if you don't usually record into a microphone and you're not used to really enunciating, you might possibly get like too close to the mic. It can get a little jumpy, which is hard to adjust, even if you have professional equipment. So 
you know, it does help having that screen there. And then we have this own little tripod right here. And then here is the microphone. So if you're watching this, you're watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for, I hope you're subscribed. Hope you're also subscribed to my other channel, What Kind of Black Nerdcast Is This, and to the podcast, What Kind of Black Nerdcast Is This, on Anchor, Apple, Spotify, uh, most major platforms, which uh, my own podcast, which there should be a link to that on the, the page also, and uh, I Am Chaos. Thanks for my first unboxing video for my new equipment, which you most likely won't see again because I'll be recording with it. But as the channel grows, I will be updating my equipment and I'll do unboxing for this. Thanks, guys.